just think like this is perfectly set up for for marketing to come in. Like I don't think the Warriors would have necessarily made these moves without thinking ahead to what's coming next. And that I think is the hope and the optimism for the Warriors fans right now. Because I look at the the front court, right? slow mo. As I like slow mo as a player, good player, uh, productive player, winning player. Most importantly, as well, like can really impact winning. But if you look at him as part of the Warrior front court, if you've got him, Draymond, J.K., P.J.D. and Loon as your four fives, like that's five guys who are your four five combinations. There is no shooting there whatsoever. Like, not one NBA defense is guarding any of those guys from beyond the arc. Like, they're not. They're playing JK for the drive. They're saying, okay, Draymond, if you want to go ahead and shoot 40% from three again next season, be our guest. Like, go for it. A Draymond Green three is good for us. TJD obviously might try and extend out, doesn't have it right now. Loon, obviously, an occasional mid-range jumper here and there. Kyle Anderson shot 22.9% from three last season on 0.6 attempts per game, which I think was his lowest since his rookie year. So not only is he not making any threes, but he's actually not taking them at all. Like percentage is horrific and attempts are horrific. So there's no three-point shooting in the front court at the 4-5 whatsoever at the moment, which to me doesn't make sense. And to me doesn't make sense to the point where there has to be another move coming. Because you can't just enter, <laughs> you can't enter a season with those five guys as part of your four or five. Like you can't. There has to be another move coming, and you can say, "Oh well, they just drafted a, a seven foot sniper, Quinton Post, with the fifty second overall pick." Like we're not relying on that guy. <laughs> we're not throwing him into the equation with these other five guys and saying, "Well, how can hang on? He's actually our our three point shooter at the center position." Um, he's going to play regular rotation minutes for us. Again, we are not, like, I think it's unfair to go into next season expecting that Quinton Post is going to have the same impact that Trace Jackson Davis did. It's just, that's not realistic. It would be lovely. It'd be fantastic if it could happen, but it's like, that's not the fair expectation on him. It's it's really not. So you're going to look at this and think, okay, those five guys at the four or five, something's got to give here. Something's got to give where, okay, one, they all can't play and at the same, at the same time, like you've got five guys there. Um, sometimes like Draymond's going to play small ball five and that leaves, you know, three of them on the bench kind of thing. Like who, who knows like what's going to happen here. But what I do know is like you cannot enter next season with those five guys as your four or five combination. Like you just, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to the point where like, Warriors surely think or know that like something else is coming here at some point. Uh, and I like like I like the addition of Buddy Hield. He gives you the three point shooting. I get it, but you still need a guy at the four five who can shoot. And they don't have that right now. And so we're playing a waiting game on seeing what happens next here. And Markinen obviously is the big one. 